What's up guys? So today I have another update video for you. This is a smaller one, but um, there is a couple things in there that uh, should hopefully be uh, beneficial for people. Um, so we'll go right from the list. Donator zones and ranks are a little different now. Um, the, the money spent is now referred to as legacy score, and your donator rank is now referred to as your legacy rank. Um, and so the goal long term, and this was the first step, is to sort of establish a system as not so much a donator zone or you donate to get there. It's more of a in-game rank. It's, there's going to be a lot more ways to, to earn it in-game. And uh, the goal is to really make it an in-game focus rather than, you know, a don you donate for it and then you have the zone. And Because I feel like a lot of the people, whether, whether I tell them to or whether I, you know, I protest it, they always refer to the zones based on their amount of money. Oh, it's not worth $1,000, it isn't worth $500, it isn't worth $100, etc., etc. And that's true. A lot of the zones aren't because the intention wasn't to be that way in the first place. Um, so branching away from the, the fact that it's donator and moving more to a legacy, I think people are going to sort of get behind it and um, it'll be easier to understand where I'm coming from from, from future updates. So I have a couple other changes to that. Um, the donator zone is no longer the donator zone. It is the member zone, so it's MZ. The old command will work, because I know a lot of people will just type it. Um, yeah, it, uh, but it is MZ, and it will be referred to as member zone, at least um, by me. Um, so for now, you will receive mystery boxes based on your legacy rank. Um, and this is the weekly login where you, if you log in every day for seven days in a row, um, if you are an elite member, which is a thousand or higher, you'll get five mystery boxes. And then if you're the contributor, you'll get um, three. If you're elite, no, not elite, legendary, you'll get four. And then sponsor would be two. And then the first one would be one. So, yeah, it's, 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 it's a little wonky, the code. It has some issues where you can log in every single day. And for some reason, you didn't, it didn't count. Um, it's Darklight's code, kind of, and my code mishmashed together. So... Um, hopefully it'll work for the best. I've in my test it seems to work fine. Do um, that it simulates me logging in seven days in a row and it seems to work. So um, we'll see. I, I do like it and that's kind of what you get. You also do get um, 100 pug points per um, per tier as well. So you'd ultimately get 500. So just a nice little a little buff um, to logging in every day. And uh, I think we want to improve on those streaks and possibly even make a monthly one because that'd be pretty impressive. Elite members will now get double boss invasion points. Um, I'm going to show you. I guess I don't really need to show you that, but that is this video. I do want to show more things um, just to prove it. So I should tell you, but just to make sure, we only have one point. And if we P-ring this, we should get three total. Yeah, three total, and then there you go. Um, that will stack with the double weekends, so, uh, so you will get four on those weekends. I changed the opening tutorial. It is now actually a tutorial. I'll show you that. So it's still in the prison, and the dude running it is Prison Pete, but it doesn't really reference any of, of why you're in there and not, so just to view the tutorial. Before, there wasn't really a tutorial, just kind of um, had a joke referencing a mini quest that didn't work anymore. So that's why we wanted to add a tutorial. It just gives you sort of some more information, um, shows you kind of some more information about invention, mini games, Panucci's Pizza here. we got Rise of the Six, Spirals Brothers, um, Ash's Dungeon, and then pretty much just good luck. Um, it's not... Oh yet, but in the in the it's in the new client that's not released yet. It will say a hardcore duo and Iron Man here, um, just because I know there's some confusion with new people making accounts. They often say, "Well, what do I do?" Um, if you want to play as duo or hardcore, you click Iron Man and then confirm, and it does say right here if duo Iron Man select this option. Um, you'll also notice that you now get a mystery box and an old X device as part of the starters. Uh, to show you that, but um, yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I decided not to do a client update, so because there was only that one thing. And I figured I would wait for other things, so that's the logic behind that. Wow, that is a really good... Wow. <laughs> that's lucky. <laughs> the, uh, uh, the mystery box is now in the Slayer Shop. Um, if you want to buy that again. No, the, the, not the mystery box. The Bond. The Bond is back in the Slayer Shop. I did raise the price. Um, if you have a Slayer Cape... I should have more specified Slayer Cape. Um, so the way the old perk worked is whenever you finish a Slayer task and you were wearing a cape, it would give you a jumbo task. But now it is much easier, much smoother to just farm tasks if you want. All you need to do is wear that same cape and then talk to him and he will give you jumbo assignments. You can get as many as you'd like. There is new monsters on these assignments. Ice Lords, you can get the donator um, or the legacy. It's gonna be a while before I, I fully transition from donator to legacy, but um, 
depending on your legacy rank, you uh, you can fight those monsters there. Um, so this is the only way to get those as tasks. Um, and the reason why I never did it in the first place was I didn't want people to get the tasks they couldn't do and then be annoyed that it was locked behind a paywall, even though it was really easy to earn in-game. Um, so that's another part of, of why we wanted to transition over to a legacy system. Uh, Trader Stan over here now sells you bandit teleport tabs and... Uh, not teleport tabs, I don't know why I add tabs. And membership. I feel like those two items should be permanently in a shop forever, not just Rosalo locked. Um, because Rosalo's kind of moved past... I mean, like, Banos, Banos teleport really only helps new players. Um, so, because, like, uh, donator zones... <laughs> legacy zones have access to them so you can just you know enter for cheaper prices there um, so that's mostly for new players same with the membership ticket especially now that it isn't an, um, donator locked I think 55 mil out of the economy every time you want to do that is, is perfectly cool beans every time you reach a 500 mil in a stat you will receive one legacy point one legacy point is equivalent to one dollar um, you have, you can also, whenever you donate a pet, you also get one legacy point. So basically five pets equals the first zone. Um, so, yeah, I believe that's it. There is only one more update. Oh, the spirit tree can now teleport you to Mount Quinamorton. Um, part of that is just new players again, not, not really knowing how to get there. And it kind of just makes sense for this game nowadays to have a, you know, a teleport. That's better than just running to Ice Mountain, because who really wants to do that? anymore like I don't think you may want to do that in the first place so that's changed and the last one we do actually have to go to uh, <laughs> Edgeville we're going to the monastery and then if we walk over here so now you have this guy right here who is bored and is interested in some reading material so what you need to do for him is um, spawn all this stuff that's what you guys need to do figure a way to spawn all those. the fact that I remembered all that is I guess it is simple because the numbers are just too higher than the other number, but still. Uh, if you have all six books and you talk to him, he will uh, think... It doesn't yell because I felt like it was weird if it would yell, Oh, you, you just helped a brother, Jared, with, with some re reading material. It just didn't seem yell-worthy, even though a lot of the other achievements are. Um, but it is needed for comp cape. And I can confirm that the next update will be the comp boots, the Dark Lights Trials will be finished, and the boots will be obtainable in-game. This is one of those requirements, so... Uh, yeah, that'll do it for the update. I know it is a smaller one, but it's just some quality of life things and it's sort of a base on what we wanted to do um, moving forward. Like, you can expect a lot of legacy rank changes, zone changes. Um, whenever we do get new data, it's been delayed now because Dark's computer got broke. Um, but whenever he can get that fixed and we do switch to new data is probably when we'll add a new rank and it will be a 10k rank. I know that's crazy. But um, even my even my owner account that has had a million you know membership tickets and bonds is not even 10k yet. But um, there will be plenty of more ways to earn the ranks and the points. So uh, yeah, if you have any suggestions, any feedback on this, let me know. Uh, that'll do it for me. Thanks.